Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one then, I'm gonna show you how to test your products on Shopify with Facebook ads. Now, being able to test your products is a very, very, very important skill because if you don't do it correctly, then it could waste you a lot of money and time. For example, then if you test a product and you think it's not a very good one, then you may move on from that product when in reality, if you stuck with it, it could have made you a lot of money. And on the flip side of that, then you could stick with a product that is a loser from day one and you may end up spending hundreds, if not thousands on ad spend and it not return a single penny. So being able to test your products then skillfully is a very important thing to be able to do. Now, before we jump into the strategy then, I just wanna quickly mention, as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me on this video. If you want to enter the draw then, all you have to do is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on my previous video then, just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And that being said then, let's jump straight into this. So the first thing you need to realize then is that when it comes to testing a the product, then data is king. The only thing that Facebook gives you is numbers. So what your cost per click is, what your CPM is, and what your relevance score is, how many impressions and so on. The more data you have, then the more accurate representation you can have of the potential of your customer, of that audience, of your product. And a good way to think of this then is to think of it as like market research. If you think about all the big brands out there and why they're so successful, when they're bringing a new product to market, they will go out and they will do product research and they won't just ask, say like a handful of people, they'll go out and ask as many people as they can afford to because the more people you ask the more feedback you get and then the more accurate representation you have of whether people are actually interested in your product or not so essentially what you need to do is think of it as like an investment you're paying for data that's going to tell you whether people are actually interested in your product or not so to keep your cost down then what you want to do is essentially make sure you choose the right campaign objective so you can bring in as much data as possible for as cheap as possible and the reason you have to make sure you choose the right campaign objective then is because depending on which one you actually choose can make a massive difference to the amount of data that actually comes in and to the results you produce like I said the goal of testing your product is to bring in as much data as possible for as cheap as possible so we can make better decisions in terms of pursuing a certain product or audience so just to kind of illustrate how powerful it is in terms of what campaign objective you choose um, I just want to show you this because I always like to back up what I talk about um, so here we are then in my ad manager account um, right at the very beginning creating a new campaign and as you can see then I've got conversions selected I'm just going to go through to the ad set level uh, let's just choose a random pixel event let's go for view content um, and what you can see then is that the reach is 1,000 people all the way up to six and a half thousand people potentially um, and the next thing we want to double check too is the actual daily budget. So daily budget is 20 pounds and for that, we're gonna get a reach of 1,000 to 6,000 people. Now, if we go back to the campaign objective and just choose traffic, for instance, again, we'll just use default settings, go through to the ad set level. Um, we'll just scroll down as well to make sure that we've got 20 pound daily budget, which we have. All the placements, everything is the default and look at the reach. The reach is over 10 times that of a conversion objective campaign. So as you can see, even though you're spending the same amount of money, you can get almost 10 times the amount of data back. And that is the reason then why when you're testing a product, you have to make sure you choose the correct campaign objective. If you're, you're not sure about a particular audience and a particular product, to go straight to conversions and purchase is a stupid thing to do because you could waste so much money trying to just get into that reach of 10,000 people. You could end up spending 10 times the cost. It could take you 10 times as long as well. So when you're testing the products, then you have to make sure you choose the right campaign objective. Now, the reason this works and the reason that what I've just spoken about actually works is because the only way to know the potential of a product or an audience for that matter is to have a standard of comparison. So just to give you an example then, the only reason we know Usain Bolt is the fastest man in the world is because we've seen him run and race against all the other best runners in the world and beat them. Same for Man City. The only reason we know they're one of the best teams in the world is because we've watched them play against team after team and beat them and they've just won the league this year. So the only way you can tell if a product is a winner or if an audience is a winner, if you have other products and audiences to compare it against. Another reason why this is so important too is on the flip side of that is that if you run a ad set for a particular product to a particular audience and you're getting say a seven pound cost per purchase and you're making a really good profit margin, um, that might be a bad ad set. 
it, you never know, seven pound might be quite expensive for your audience. So the more you test, then the more data you have in, and then you can see where that average standard of comparison is. So if you run 10 ad text, in fact, before we get into that, we'll just go through the strategy and you can see kind of like how it works. So to kind of encompass what I've just spoken about, this is the following strategy that I recommend you use is a traffic or engagement campaign because it's lower value objectives and targets, then essentially your CPM is gonna be a lot cheaper and you're gonna get a lot higher reach as I just demonstrated. I want you to go after at least five audiences, so one audience per ad set and keep audience overlapping to a minimum. So what I mean by that is that if you use one interest in ad set one, then don't use that interest in any other ad set. So you need a list of really good interests, flex target them if you must, but just make sure you've got five unique audiences, one per ad set. In terms of budget then, I want you to have an individual daily budget per ad set. Do not use a CBO here. We, like I said, I've said it before, that we need an average standard of comparison, which which means everything needs to be as fair as possible. So if one ad set has had say $20 spent, one ad set $10 and one ad set $3, that's not an average standard of comparison. It's not a fair test. So at this point then we don't want to use CBO. This is the number one reason why I'm not looking forward to when it comes in because when it comes to testing, it's gonna be really difficult to do. Um, so make sure each ad set has got its individual daily budget and set the daily budget to the price of the product. In fact, that's meant to be half the price of the product half price of product. That way then you run it for two days and after two days, then each ad set has spent the price of the product. Then after that, then you can switch them all off or review them while they're still live. It depends on how you want to play it really. Um, I tend to always leave mine live and not do anything until I've reviewed the data. That way, the ones that are essentially bringing in some money, I can just let them run. After that, then you can review the data so you can look at you can export it to a spreadsheet or you can line them all up in your you can filter them all out in your ad manager account and look at kind of like the key numbers look at the relevant scores look at the um, cost per clicks look at the cpms and whichever ones are performing the best that shows you that that audience is responding to your ad better than all the others and then you can go on and start actually targeting those audience because they're the best of the best you can then go ahead and start targeting them in a separate campaign i'm um, using the purchase objective and just to kind of reiterate then why this works so much is because if you use the purchase objective to test then you will have to spend as i illustrated almost 10 times the amount to get back the same amount of data so where you could spend say five pound per day on a traffic campaign you might have to spend 50 pound per day um, on a purchase campaign just to get the same kind of amount of data back and like I said again the more data you have the better representation and decision you can make whether you want to duplicate that audience into a purchase campaign or whether you think it's not worth your time or not so essentially in its fundamentals then that is the strategy I use to test products on Facebook ads if there's any questions on that at all please do make sure you leave a comment down below I always get back to every single person um, and if you're still watching then thank you very much I really do appreciate it if you enjoyed the video um, all I ask is that you do leave a like and if you want to be entered into that um, that raffle then to win the one-to-one -one call um, just make sure you leave a comment down below and that being said then let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video so here we are then guys on the previous video the key ingredients to a successful Facebook ad um, it was a really interesting video that one so if you haven't watched it yet please do make sure you go and check it out um, it's got 114 likes and zero dislikes um, which is pretty amazing actually so please don't go and dislike that video um, so I'm just going to take the URL then head over to our random comment picker uh, get YouTube comments 49 which is absolutely brilliant so thank you very much guys the support actually recently has just been completely crazy um, I really 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 do appreciate it and the winner then of the previous video was trending global mart um, so thank you very much for your comment please reach out to me on Instagram and we can get that call arranged and guys if you want to stop trying your luck um, and it's taking too long and you don't think you're gonna win you can just get down to business straight away and book a call there is a link in the description down below and with that being said then guys thanks very much again for watching my videos um, and I'll see you in the next one